An innovative unmanned platform, the Venom Totem, has been developed in Novosibirsk, capable of transporting loads weighing up to 300 kilograms. Primarily designed for casualty evacuation, it is expected that the first 50 units will soon be delivered to the Russian armed forces, according to information provided by the People's Front to TASS. The developer of the Venom Totem explained that the platform was originally intended for use in critical zones affected by emergencies, where quick and safe evacuation of the injured is vital. However, in recent months, it has been successfully utilized for logistical tasks in the Northern Military District, including transporting ammunition, food supplies, and other essential resources. Although the platform's maximum load capacity is rated at 300 kilograms, stress tests demonstrated that it could handle up to 500 kilograms, showcasing its reliability and durability. In collaboration with the Kulabin Club team, we conducted numerous tests that confirmed the system's effectiveness and resilience under various field conditions. The results were encouraging, and the platforms proved to be stable and adaptable. Now, Together with the People's Front, we are ready to deploy the first 50 units to the front line, where they will play a crucial role in fulfilling operational tasks within the scope of military operations, the lead developer of the project explained. These systems are becoming a key part of military logistics, offering the potential to reduce the risk to human medics and increase the speed at which casualties are transported. Earlier, in a notable shift in battlefield tactics, Russian forces are intensifying the use of unmanned ground vehicles UGVs, in the ongoing Ukrainian conflict in Donetsk Oblast, signaling a significant technological and tactical evolution. The Institute for the Study of War reported on March 30, 2024, recent activities highlighting the deployment of these advanced systems in the fiercely contested regions of southeastern Berdichy, northwest of Avdivka, and along the Bakhmut direction, marking a pivotal moment in the conduct of hostilities in eastern Ukraine. Russian and Ukrainian sources have released footage from March 29 and 30, 2024, showcasing the Ukrainian military's engagements with Russian UGVs. These unmanned vehicles, some equipped with the formidable AGS-17 grenade launcher systems capable of unleashing a devastating barrage of 50 to 400 grenades per minute, underscore the growing importance of robotic systems in modern warfare. Such capabilities offer a glimpse into the future of combat operations, where unmanned systems could play increasingly central roles. Additional footage disseminated by Russian sources depicted various small-wheeled and tracked drones operating across unspecified locations. Samuel Bendet, an expert with the Center for Naval Analyzes CNA, has assessed these UGVs to be multifunctional, engaging in intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, operations, logistical support, personnel evacuations, and even direct combat roles. This diversified use of unmanned systems highlights their strategic value in enhancing operational flexibility and reducing the risk to human life on the battlefield. In the dynamic landscape of military technology, Russia's advancements in unmanned ground vehicles UGVs, underscore a strategic pivot towards integrating state-of-the-art technologies into its defense mechanisms. The development and deployment of these UGVs signify a concerted effort to enhance operational effectiveness and safeguard personnel. The Nerecta UGV represents a smaller, versatile platform tested in Syria, showcasing its capabilities in fire support, reconnaissance, and as a logistical support vehicle. This eye-enabled system points towards Russia's experimentation with autonomous capabilities in real combat scenarios, providing valuable insights into the application of robotics on the battlefield. Another significant development is the Uran-9, 
unveiled at the Army 2016 International Military Technical Forum by JSC-766 UPTK. This multi-purpose combat vehicle is designed for remote reconnaissance and fire support, especially in urban warfare scenarios. Equipped with an array of sensors and weapons, the Uran-9 aims to enhance infantry squad effectiveness while offering maximum protection, featuring armaments such as anti-tank guided missiles, an automatic cannon, and a machine gun. The Marker robotic vehicle further exemplifies Russia's push towards advanced autonomous systems. Developed by Android Naya Technica under the commission of the Russian Advanced Research Foundation, the Marker offers sophisticated autonomous driving and AI-based object recognition capabilities, geared towards reconnaissance and the neutralization of enemy targets. Its development signifies a move towards multifunctional robotic platforms adaptable to various military roles. In addition to combat roles, Russia has also focused on UGVs for support and safety operations, such as the Uran-6 and Uran-14. The URAN-6 specializes in demining, providing a safer alternative to manual demining methods and underscoring the use of robotics for hazardous tasks. Meanwhile, the Uran-14 is dedicated to firefighting in combat zones, capable of operating in high-risk environments to manage fires resulting from military actions or accidents. These vehicles illustrate the multifaceted approach of the Russian military to leverage unmanned systems not just for direct combat but also for critical support roles that contribute to operational safety and resilience. The incorporation of UGVs into combat operations by Russian forces in Ukraine is not just a testament to the evolving nature of warfare but also a clarion call for the United States and NATO allies to closely monitor these developments. Understanding the deployment and effectiveness of such technologies in current conflicts is imperative for developing strategies and capabilities that will define the future of military engagements. The battlefield in Ukraine is rapidly becoming a testing ground for next-generation warfare technologies, offering critical insights into the characteristics of future warfare.